In this tutorial, we'll be going over how to create joints for wheels and manipulators on your robot in Inventor. To begin, open the CAD model of your robot in Inventor. If your robot was CADded in a different software, you can most likely import it into Inventor. This robot has bumpers, making it difficult to access the wheels. Since we can't move the bumpers in the current state, we need to remove the constraints. Right-click on the bumper and click Find in Browser. In the hierarchy, we can view the part and the constraints associated with it. Select the first constraint, hold shift, and select the last constraint. Right-click, and then click Suppress. Now you can move the bumper out of the way. Move the wheel off of the axle. Click Joint. Select the origin of the wheel and then select the origin of the axle. This will automatically create a rotational joint. Press OK. Repeat this process for all of the other wheels. When you are done, reconstrain the bumper to the robot. Right-click the bumper, find in browser, select the constraints, right-click, and uncheck suppress. Now let's create a joint for the manipulator. Click Joint and select the origin of the rotation of the manipulator. Then select the origin of the axle. This will create a rotational joint. However, it's not quite in the right spot. Select Flip and this will flip the manipulator onto the other side. Change the rotation by going to Limits and selecting a different rotation. You can also adjust the gap between the manipulator and the robot using the orange arrow or by manually entering a value into the gap bar. Once you are done, click OK. Now we have a manipulator that is jointed to our robot. However, you can rotate it 360 degrees, which is not what we want. Instead, we want to set limits so that it only rotates within a certain range. To do so, find the joint in the hierarchy, then click Edit. Navigate to the limits and check Start. Input the values for the lowest and highest points of rotation for your joint. When this is done, click OK. Now the joint only moves within a certain range. Thank you for watching this synthesis tutorial. Be sure to check out our other video tutorials. If you're interested in contributing to synthesis, make sure to check out our GitHub page as well.